Hey guys, we're back again, live at the Somerset Celebration of Entrepreneurship. That would be the one. I'm here <laughs> with Nick and Lucas. So from, you got from from Orange Sky and Laundry and, and Macca. Macca. Macca out the back. Yo. <laughs> uh, so you guys want to tell us about what you do? Yeah, Orange Sky is Australia's first ever free mobile laundry service for the homeless. We started three years ago. Yesterday was our third year birthday. Uh, up and, um, and uh, yeah, really crazy idea of uh, putting two washing machines and two dryers in a van, driving around washing and drying clothes for free. And now fast forward three years, we've got 19 uh, vehicles in operation around Australia. We've got 16 laundry vans all around, um, three shower vans, 1,000 volunteers to date. Uh, washed and dried about 500,000 kilos of free laundry, uh, but most important, what we realised is that laundry takes time, and during that time there's nothing to do except to have a chat. <laughs> there I am. <laughs> I'm like half in. Oh yeah. Yeah, so we've, being at school, we've actually heard a bit about what you guys do, and it's been in the news a little bit. Um, so how did you come up with an idea to help the community and do this? How did you decide that this was something that you could do, that you wanted to do? Nick, Nick and I were lucky enough in, in high school to uh, participate in a lot of different food programs and different stuff for people who are doing it tough on the streets and um, it was a really good opportunity at school to give back and we missed it when we left school so we wanted to find a simple way for our friends and us to give back um, and we're thinking of another food van or something like that but um, stumbled on this idea of chucking washers and dryers in the back of a van and, and washing and drying clothes for free and um, very quickly that idea, we realised no one had ever done it before and um, it was something that could create a big impact in the community but it really seeded from that time at school and from giving back um, at a very early age and you know, so, so lucky to have stumbled on the idea. That's so awesome. So how did you guys first get started? So you, obviously you got the idea and then you're like, okay, action plan. So was that any, was that a bit of a hard step for you guys or was that mostly an easy flow starting out the business? Yeah, I guess it, it looks daunting now looking back at it and I always um, like using this analogy that we're staring at this big tree right now which is orange sky but Lucas and I just planted the seed and sort of a little seedling grow but um, all those branches and all those people helping us grow orange sky, um, you know, it was a little bit scary when everyone told us it wasn't possible to get washing machines to work in the back of a van but being a little bit um, probably overconfident and breaking lots of machines and just really being passionate about what we did um, meant that it was um, possible and, and now I guess our biggest challenge is that we've found a way to help people and how we can uh, do that all around the world. So you guys said that you originally wanted to do food trucks, so do you think you want to at some point try and integrate that into the system? We're, we're, uh, we're lucky enough here in Australia that there's a lot of support for people, especially in that food realm. So for Nick and I and, and Orange Sky, we're very much focused on delivering a, a few key things, which is laundry, shower and also conversation. So we're not um, worried about um, delivering food or coffee or anything like that because there's so many awesome organisations already doing it. Every night in Australia, there's 350,000 services available to someone who's doing it tough. So we're 160 of those with, la with our laundry and shower services, but um, there's an abundance of food and it's just about connecting people and bringing them together to, to access that food. Um, so how did you get the washing machines working in the back of the truck? <laughs> yeah, really, really great question. So um, we sort of, Lucas is really good at math, so we did some measuring and we thought they might might fit and then uh, we made a little platform to get them up over the wheels and we had to, um, to dint the vehicle a bit to get them to, to fit in and then we had to get water and wastewater um, from the vehicle and then power and lots of trips back and forth from the hardware store and we had the, the first van and now our vans have um, a generator on board, have uh, clean and dirty water tanks on board, um, have orange chairs, have dryers, have a detergent system so um, all the vans are the same and they can go out and help as many people as possible. Do you have a question, Maka? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 not really. But okay. um, what what other projects are you doing other than Orange Sky? Or is this just the number one thing that you're working on? At the moment, Orange Sky has really taken up a, a lot of our life, and we're lucky enough to be in a position to be able to grow Orange Sky and learn. Nick and I aren't experts at washing or experts at running a big business, but uh, what we are is really passionate about about doing it. So, um, Orange Sky is a good opportunity to learn and to give back, and um, that's where we are for the, this point in time in our life. And how good do you think this type of event is for bettering the community and getting entrepreneurship into schools? Absolutely integral. You know, um, what Lucas and I did and, and the big word of entrepreneurship I was saying earlier, I can't even spell that and I can hardly even say it. And, and it is something that for me is, is a really big scary word. And entrepreneurship for me is really finding something that you're passionate about and, and just doing that. And um, that's what we do at Orange Sky every day and what we oh, challenge we uh, people uh, at this event to do. And, and you don't need 
Um, you know, these festivals are great, but you don't need to be at a festival or you don't need to be wearing a suit or you don't need millions of dollars uh, to be an entrepreneur. We can all do it by finding um, something that we're passionate about and just giving it a go. So for people looking to get started, follow their passion, but is there any other advice that you would have to give to them? The biggest thing is taking that first step. The most daunting thing is always going to be taking that first step. We can all have ideas. We can all you know, hatch these crazy ideas to help people or to make money or whatever it is, but actually putting that idea into action, prototyping that first prototype or taking that first step to actually making it happen. It could be something as simple as making a website, which you can do in 20 minutes, or it could be you know, registering a domain name or starting to build something and, and see if there's a market for it. it. It is really daunting to take that first step, but once you do, it is an incredibly rewarding process. Sweet. So I've got a question for you guys, and we've been d uh, carrying around a topic about the future of work, right? And, you know, tech's coming in, robotics, AI. Um, one of my questions is, will your cars be automated? So will you have your you know, self-driving washing vans going around to um, homeless and cleaning their clothes? And will you have AI built into your car? And what do you think of all this new technology coming out? It's, it's incredibly exciting and um, charity, I think the charity sector is lagging behind and using technology to help people and technology has been able to find ways to get someone accommodation in any part of the world or get someone a lift or um, have food to be delivered right to your door but we still have this massive problem of 105,000 people being homeless out there and technology um, is integral into con connecting people and Orange Sky's key aim is to positively connect people and without using technology we can't do that. Um, our vans now go to 160 locations at the same time same place every week. Our vans automatically put detergent in and switch water dependent on the location. But in, our, in the very near future, in the next 10 years, um, vehicles will be able to rock up to a park and be able to wash and dry people's clothes and it's around empowering people. Where does the name Orange Sky come from? Lucas uh, knows that one. Orange Sky is a song by a guy by the name of Alexi Murdoch. He's a British singer-songwriter who in his song Orange Sky talks about helping out your brothers and sisters and your love falling in other people's salvation. When Nick and I were first starting up, we didn't um, we didn't really know what we were going to call it. We liked the name, we liked the song, we liked the colour. We're not politically or religiously associated, so um, we thought Orange Sky was the perfect name for us. That's awesome, guys. Um, yeah, well, thanks for joining us, and happy birthday for the three years. Is it, is it correct? That's it. Yeah, and uh, wish you all the best. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks, Beach City. Beach you City. Chuck her out. Chuck her out. Chuck her out.